This one, I just said, give me a landscape in the style of Salvador Dali. And this is what it came up with. And this is like completely original, completely unique. There's no other one of this image anywhere in the world. It just came up with it, looking at Dali's work. Now, this, uh, about three weeks ago, you, you're all probably familiar with a tool called Photoshop, right? Photoshop added AI to Photoshop, and it's really remarkable. So this is actually kind of a low resolution image that I grabbed off Unsplash. And if you decided that you wanted to say, expand it to over here and expand it to over here and paint in what, what should be there, and then say, remove this and maybe put a chimpanzee here with its hands uh, clasping the railing, that would take hours, right? It could be done in Photoshop, but it would take hours. Well, this took less than two minutes. The AI added the stuff at the side, it removed the crane, and it put the chimpanzee there with its uh, paws. I mean, under two minutes to go from, actually, let me go back, uh, to go from that to that. And so it's opened up a whole new world for image editors and for photographers and visual artists because you can literally put anything in any image. You can make images bigger, smaller, uh, or you can say, uh, highlight this person and put a completely different background there. And again, you can do that in Photoshop, but it takes a while, a number of clicks. This is just one click. So you see the power? And that's developed right in Photoshop? Right in Photoshop. Hmm. And I've actually avoided uh, paying for Photoshop for decades. But after this came out, I couldn't resist it. So I'm paying my $20 a month because it just opens up so much, so many amazing things that you can do. Now, another tool that's useful is Lexica, Lexica.ai, because it comes up with loads and loads of images. And you can look and you can see the prompt that was used for the image. Or you can put your own image in and uh, have prompts suggested, or you can search for images on the web or wherever. And you can also generate. It's like I found a nice image, but it was frogs and I wanted ferrets. So I put, uh, I put, I took the same prompt, put it in and changed it to ferrets and did generate, and it did a nice job. Um, this one, again, is a kind of similar thing. You put in the, an image you've found mm -hmm. And it will tell you its suggested prompt to recreate that image. And then you just modify it to what you want and what you need. So that's a useful yeah. tool. This one will take anything up to five different images and merge them with different degrees of strength of each of the images. And you can create some very interesting uh, images that way. And here's the thing that... Uh, at first, a lot of uh, artists were going, my God, what's going to happen to us? Um, people can create wonderful images in next to no time, and we have to paint, and it takes us weeks or whatever. But uh, a bunch of them realized pretty quick that not only could they get inspiration, great inspiration for their own work, but they could create phenomenal images using their eye and their knowledge and then sell them online. So a lot of uh, artists are now selling these mid-journey created images either on Etsy or to stock libraries. And this site came up called Wirestock that enables you to not have to contact all those libraries and stock houses, but it will do it all for you. You just upload your image to Wirestock and they take care of the whole thing. And they take 15% of uh, whatever you sell your work for, which is, pretty good because they do a lot of work. Now here's N what NVIDIA's doing. NVIDIA Canvas empowers artists with an AI assistant to paint landscapes quickly and easily. Simple brush strokes with the intuitive material palette generate lifelike images in seconds. And preset styles modify the lighting and overall look of the resulting image instantly. 
we have been working on new capabilities to allow artists to paint even more amazing landscapes. With the latest upgrade to the AI model, canvas paintings are not only four times higher resolution, but you'll also notice higher quality and more details in the image. We've also expanded the material palette with five brand new materials, such as flowers and straw, allowing you to paint a richer and more diverse set of landscapes. We can't wait to see what you can create with these powerful new features. So you see uh, that just by using your finger, you can create beautiful landscapes. <laughs> it's pretty wild, huh? Finger, finger painting has changed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it has. All right. So this is uh, Runway, Runway ML, 15 bucks a month. And what it's doing is it's creating um, <coughs> videos from a text prompt. And this is the text prompt. So they put in a, a surreal dream, jungle driver at dawn, a gathering storm. And it created those videos from those prompts. Here's another. So all of this was created from text prompts. And like I say, it's pretty rough right now, but check back in six months and you'll be amazed. Yeah. Now this pulls images from the web to do this, or? No, this is generated from scratch. And here's an interesting tool. This one's available now and it's free. It's where you can take your own face and put it, uh, replace the actors in a movie with your face. This guy took uh, some scenes from The Office and put his face on all the characters. <laughs> Pretty crude, but uh, yeah, you can take your face or anyone's face, just a photograph, and put it on uh, any video clip. Oh, this is wild. This, you, do you all know what CGI is? You've heard the term CGI, right? It's uh, where they, you know, put, uh, like the Terminator, they put all sorts of different uh, stuff into video into films that were not there they're created by computers and they make them look very real well cgi is incredibly expensive hundreds and thousands of dollars for a few seconds and very time consuming to create well guess what ai has just changed that whole paradigm completely because this is a tool that's available now and what it does is you put it, you, you create your video and you'll see that it, you choose, uh, you upload your video, you choose what character you want to take your place in the video. So you see this guy, he's here and he's gonna be replaced by a robot and it'll do everything that he did in the video and look realistic. So I'm gonna play this They say all great stories start with a sense of wonder. And what if bringing those stories to life wasn't limited by our resources, but only by our imagination? Welcome to Wonder Studio, where making movies with CGI is as simple as selecting your actor and assigning a character. 
The system uses AI to track the actor's performance across cuts and automatically animates, lights, and composes the CG character directly into the scene. Whether it's one shot or a full sequence, Wonder Studio analyzes and captures everything from body motion, lighting, compositing, camera motion, and it even tracks the actor's facial performance. All the artist needs is a camera. Filmmaking is a medium of creativity and collaboration between artists. There's no AI that can replace that. Wonder Studio was built to empower those artists while still keeping the existing 3D process in mind. Alongside the rendered results, Wonder Studio gives you the ability to export the individual layers you need to deliver your final visual effects shot. Wow. Whether it's lighting, camera, or animation, you can maintain full control and make detailed adjustments in 3D space. From the paintbrush, to the typewriter, to the camera, tools have always been an extension of the artist, a means to help our voices be heard. With Wonder Studio, we hope the world hears yours. Pretty amazing, huh? No, that, that one can't be free. Uh, no, right now I'm on the waiting list to join it. I don't know what it's going to cost, but uh, so far, uh, most, uh, most if not all, AI tools are remarkably inexpensive. Yeah. Well, that's that's a great tool. I mean, I I can be in my videos now and and not look so fat. This is true. <laughs> uh, this one uh, is great for taking a long video and cutting out the key sections and making shorts automatically. And it, it, it does the short, it decides what the short should be and it adds the video and the subtitles. Hmm. It, does a good, it does a good job. I use AI for very often people have done recordings like 20 years ago uh, where they had, you know, 20 different tracks, but now all they have is the final mix of two tracks. And they want to get at those instruments, untangle them, uh, change their volumes, change the instruments, uh, add new stuff, remove stuff. And now we can do that because with unmixing, we can take any full-blown mix and separate out all the instruments, beautiful quality. And we can also uh, remove sounds that are just impossible to remove things like wow. a loud metronome or a train or something running through the song we can paint those out with ai and we can do i'm just going to demonstrate one little thing but um here is one where i if you guys are having difficulty hearing the audio you might not be able to hear this properly but we'll see hi i'm adon lopez this is my brother fernando Together we have been trained and worked with some of the best strength coaches of all. Now, if you could hear the heavy echo here, it's removed. Hi, I'm Madonna Lopez. This is my brother, Fernando. Together we have been trained and worked with some of the best. And there's also stuff. Uh, this is a guy I filmed over the phone. He had this in the background. He didn't have a green screen. But with AI, I was able to completely remove his background and put in a new background into his video without a green screen. And then also we do things like uh, this. We were interviewing Felix Cavalieri from the Rascals. And what we were receiving across the internet was he was in a storm on Wi-Fi in Nashville. So the quality was really rough, as you see. But what we hooked in to his camera and his microphone through his browser before the internet. So this is what we were able to record. And then anyway, there's a lot of fun things that can be done with AI. Um, here's another one where it uh, takes uh, this one. Uh, it just took uh, a piece of text and then made it uh, spoken by the family guy, but 
matched it to the video, the lips of this video character. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. But I have a very particular lack of skills. I will never be able to find you. But what I do have is two dollars and a Casio wristwatch. You can have one of them. Actually, it made the lips follow the text. This one I like so much, I do t finally subscribe to it. It's a $12 a month, but basically anything I come across online, whether it's text, a picture, a video, it doesn't matter what it is, if I like it, I just click a plus button and it puts it into a, tool, a, a, a full page called My Mind. And it's very searchable, so you can find things six months later by uh, no matter how many thousands of things you have in it, you can find what you're looking for very easily. So I like My Mind a lot. This my mind, I mean. Uh, here is a free robot lawyer. If you don't want to spend a fortune on legal advice, it uh, claims to help you fight corporations, beat bureaucracy, find hidden money, sue anyone, automatically cancel your free trials, and various other stuff. So that one, I haven't tried this one personally, but uh, I'm going to. Uh, Okay, this one, easypeasy.ai, creates uh, tons of marketing copy really fast with AI tools. This one's very good and very inexpensive. Oh, actually, wait a minute. I've got... Yeah, it does art and images, podcast show notes, video scripts, blog posts, social media captions, emails, product descriptions, all sorts of stuff. This one... Um, you can add to your website uh, animations and 3D animations. Okay. And this one, you can actually put in your photograph and see how you'll look as you age. If you want to, of course. Yeah. So thank you very much for attending this, and thank you very much for your attention. I hope you found something useful. Tony, it was a kick-ass amazing. I'm really blown away. Oh, thank you, Wayne. And Wayne is the host, by the way, of okay. uh, Tampa Bay Invest Inventors Council. Did you, did you uh, remake me host? Oh, let me do that. Yes, you are now the host. All right. Terrific. All right. Well, I'm going to... Uh, yes. Uh, well, yeah, if you come in front of the camera, get the camera over there. Hey, Tony, do you remember me? <laughs> Pam French, I was at TVBO. Oh, my God. Hi, Pam. A long time, 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> you had you. you had the Pammy Pockets. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Kathy. Hi, Kathy. So Hi, great Kathy. to see you, Tony. You too, Kathy. Awesome. <laughs> great to see you both. Yep. Recording stopped.